like a nice guy bring you the stew mill what do you do to me after i get everybody to come around and you have the pastry which i didn't care about but you had the doctor to come over to me and say with your own shoes you didn't even ask me but what did i say to you no because we were willing to be friends when everybody said that and i what do i what do i care about things and, and you with me anything you ever asked me what did you say not a thing you didn't say to me because i didn't mind you're my buddy my pal my bosom pal nothing you, you can and you left the kid there <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Ladies and 
and gentlemen, our writers, Eddie Simmons and Norman Lear, who write the entire show, said that we should make our show as informal as possible. We'd like to do that, so we'd like you to relax, and I'd like to come right into your living room and join you both. <laughs> I want you to know that we're enjoying our Mighty Tasty Singing by Brother Martin, addressed as usual to a lovely lady. But here's a song softly sung to any woman who wants to be even lovelier. You want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. You want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. You want palm olive soap for a beauty bath. You want palm olive soap for your beauty bath. You love its fragrance for daintiness. You love its mildness for loveliness. You want its purity for gentleness. You want palm olive bath sides for thriftiness. Yes, you want a beauty soap for a beauty bath. And your bath becomes a beauty bath when you change to proper cleansing with palm olive soap. Doctors have proved that regular cleansing with this beauty soap brings most women lovelier complexions in just 14 days. Yes, nothing could be finer in your bath to cleanse, refresh, relax you. So to enjoy a bath that's truly a beauty bath, always use big, generous bath-sized palm olive. So mild, so pure, so right for all of you. Yes, you want palm olive soap for your beauty bath. I go to beach and fellas kick sand in my face. And when I get up and I say, don't do that, they say, ha ha, skinny. <laughs> I don't like that. That's no good. So I want to get built up strong. So if they do that, I can hit it right in the head if they ever do that. You want to build yourself up, huh? Yes. Can I do it here? Go put on a gym suit. Oh, and then you'll build me up. Put on a gym suit. Okay. All right, fellas, come on. Come on. Put on a gym suit, will you? All right, now, fellas, come on. A little road, a little work here. Stretch it out. Yeah, Stretch it, it out. Like Let me see that. What'd you give me, Teddy? Oh, that right. looks pretty good. Keep him up high. Up high. Faster, faster. You're not in the wick. Come on, let's throw the ball. Throw it back and forth. Let's see it. Come on now. Up, 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 up. This is all of it, huh? You didn't leave nothing. None of this is in the locker. This is the whole thing. This is everything. There's no more. Good boy. Hey, I, but I want you. I want you should build up my body like those other fellas. Good. Well, <laughs> when you get your health back, we'll see what we can do. Right? Right? That's good. Want to be my guest? Can I try it? Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, now, chin yourself. Let's go. No, this doesn't come down. You go up. You go up. <laughs> now, I know you can do it. Now, go ahead. Put your arms right around that boat. Then get all the strength in these big, nice, skinny arms. And you got to ride real up to us. I'm going to kill you. know what I mean? <laughs> go ahead. Now, wait till you all feel better. Take a rub down. Is that good for me, a rub down? Ooh, real good. Come okay. Fix up the things here. All right, take off your clothes. Here! <laughs> I said, take off your clothes. I don't even know you. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I will not either. Don't you get fresh. Let me help. <laughs> you? I'm not taking off my clothes for you. What's the matter? Are you embarrassed? No, I'm ashamed. <laughs> All right, let's do a little calisthenics. Do I have to take my clothes off of this? No. Let's do it. Come on. I like that. Tell us that. Come on, fellas. Line up. Let's go. Line up. Line up here. Let's see it now. Get in line, buddy. Hey, buddy. Get in line. Come on. Get in line. Here. Here. Get in line. 
Hi, now. I want two, four, and six. Step out. Two, 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 two. <laughs> now, when I blow the whistle, the exercise is over. Understand? You stop. Let's hear the first exercise. One, two, three, four. Got it? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. take over the class. Well, who wants a volunteer takes two steps forward? One, two. Good, I know you. Oh, yeah. no, I don't know how. When you want him to stop the exercise, blow the whistle. Blow it? Blow the whistle. That's... <laughs> oh, yeah. The one where you're running and you don't go nowhere. You know which one this is? I, I, show them how to do it. Yeah, like this, everybody. Ready? Go. They told me this is very good. Yeah, now we'll do another one. Okay, that's enough for that one. Let's... <laughs> no, that, that, that... All right, that's all for this one. Stop. One, two. Now, if we... <laughs> no, no, that, that's all right. Ho, one, two, stop. Now, <laughs> oh, that, that's all now. Huh? No, no hey, more. Stop. Yeah, stop. they don't want to stop me. Oh, the whistle. Oh, the whistle. Oh, the whistle. <laughs> Come on, stop inside. You Come here. Come here. Come here. Now, who wants to box with me for two rounds? Take two steps forward. One, two! Good. Ah! <laughs> Give me the whistle. Give me the whistle. Ever boxed before? No. I'm gonna box now, and I don't want you to get hurt, so bring on the equipment. Let's go. You gotta guard your head and your face, because if I hit you, I don't want you to get punchy, you understand? Yeah, yeah. I don't want you to get punchy, so take care of yourself. Oh, all right. Okay? Yeah. Good. Somebody, you crazy? Let me know when you're gonna hit me. <laughs> now. <laughs> Ha, 
That's enough. Come on. We better quit. That's enough. Come on. Go to the shower. That's enough. I don't want you to get punchy. Come on, quit. Now I'll fight the bull. I drive by the bull. Huh? I've enjoyed this bad bull, so I'll fight the bull. Oh, no. Yeah, I've just cut the accent now. If I keep fighting, I think I'll be all right. Oh, hey, come on. Let's fight a couple more rounds. Get in there. I go get him in the ass the way, boy. How's that? I picked it up pretty good, did I? <laughs> I feel pretty good. Come on. Yeah, I'm standing there. Busy housewives don't have to go to gymnasiums to wear themselves out. They can do it right in their own kitchen. If they let an old style scouring cleanser make little cleanup jobs become big ones. But don't you do it. Instead, listen to the advice of fat, so slim and tiny. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Cleans pots and pans just like a whiz. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Floats the dirt right down the drain. Ajax leaves no gritty cleansers come. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Bumps the dirt right down the train. So use Ajax. Remember, ask for Ajax, the scouring cleanser with foaming action. It's really a big help in the bathroom and kitchen. It cuts grease like that and floats it down the drain. Colgate smells good, too, and it's easy on your hands. Ajax. Colgate's wonderful foaming action. Get two cans tomorrow. And now we take you to the headquarters of the toughest criminal gang in the country, Mayhem Incorporated. What is it? What's about time? Send him in here. Come in. You send for me, Scar. How many times I gotta tell you? Don't call me Scar. Huh? Where you been? I've been around. What do you mean I've been around? Just been around, that's all. Why aren't you here this afternoon? Why don't you hold up a gas station? I'm getting sick of that. That's why. Gas station. All the other guys, they hold the banks to get money. Hold up liquor stores, they get liquor. All I ever do is hold up gas stations. All I ever get is gas. Who the pain? <laughs> why didn't you report for target practice? Because I haven't been well. <laughs> well what you gonna do it now? Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now. I always gotta do what you say. All right. Turn him loose. Punch him. I had enough. I had enough. I'm getting sick of this All every right, day. Close up the trap. Same thing every day. Hey, Scott. What is a strangler? Can I have the rest of the day off? Why? I gotta go to my mother-in-law's funeral. I didn't know. I didn't know your mother-in-law was dead. She ain't. I'm knocking her off as soon as I get home. Oh, uh, good boy. Hey, Strangler, I always yeah. wanted to ask you something. It's been on my mind a long time. Yeah. How come they call you Strangler? Hey, you know, kid, I'm glad you asked me that because I can't figure that out neither. Of all the stupid, crazy, idiotic nicknames. For years, for years, nobody called me nothing. And then all of a sudden, 
out of a clear blue sky. For oh. no good reason at all. <laughs> they give me a nickname like this. Strangler. Yeah. It's stupid. Strangler. It's crazy. Right. Maybe you can figure it out. Right. I can't. I'll oh, see you. <laughs> what's the matter, Myron? <laughs> That's what's the matter. Look what I just had to go through to ask a question. I don't like this Myron. I want a name like all the other pugs. Bertie and Reed and Nord. Who? Oh. All the other guys. All the other guys. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a nice name. Make, make a face for me. I'll think of a name. Yeah, I want a, a real hard oh, a name. A real tough name. <laughs> rat face. Hey, that's good. That's it, rat, rat face. face. yeah. Right, don't go away. I want you to do something. Rat face, that's a good name. Hey, Julius. Send in that other punk. Who's this? This guy's got some information I want. You think he can get it? I'm rat face. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. How was I? She didn't do nothing. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Turner Schmidlap. Where you from, Schmid? Brooklyn. You asking me or you telling me? I'm wondering. Don't get smart. Give me the right answers. You won't get hurt. Brooklyn, huh? I used to know a stoner Schmidlap in Brooklyn. Oh, yes? He's my cousin. Yeah, can Stoner still spit through his teeth? Rat face! <laughs> All right, stop with the joke. I'll belt you the head. I'll tear your head up. I'll hit your head. I'll, Get the information. I'll break your bones. You're going to start talking. I'll tear your head. I'll break every bone in your body if you don't open your... What are you doing? He got away! He's over here. <laughs> now, this is a very smart wedgie. If you like it in gray, we have it in a tan, too. Is this too tight? You better change these. That's not your style. Get out of here. Come here. Do you know where you're going? No, you're no. going to see the big guy. Oh, no, please. Not yeah, the, the big, big guy. guy. No, no, no. Not the big guy. Oh. Hello, this is Ratface. Send up a chocolate malt. <laughs> With an extra straw. Hiya, baby. Where's the scar? On his face. Oh. <laughs> it's on your mind, sister. Hey, you any relation to Gary Cooper? <laughs> You're a big girl. I like big girls. They're so... They're so big. <laughs> How about a kiss, baby? Think you can make it? You betcha I can make it. Where are you going? What are you, crazy? This girl belongs to the big guy. Leave him alone, Scar. He's got guts. Yeah, and if the big guy catches him, he'll spill him. Scar, but don't... Hey, Scar! What is it? The big guy's on his way up. He heard his mom was here when he's boiling. Don't let him come up here. Stop until don't I get rid of them all. Don't let him come up. Don't let him. No! 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 Hey, <laughs> you, come down here, I said. Hey, big guy, please don't. I said, come down here. I'm the boss around here now. Get out of here. You can't hit that guy. Who said I can? Yeah, who said he can? <laughs> you, Lemonhead, come here. Uh, uh, come here. Pick me up. No. I said, pick me up. Shake. You said shake. You want to be friends, big guy? Shake. What are we going to do with him, big guy? Give him the same thing as Louie the Lip? Right, Scott, let him have it. Take him out. No, 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 give me a break, big guy. Give me a break. I didn't do nothing. I was just talking. I walked in and I didn't do nothing. 
give me a break, big guy. I'll never do it again. I'll never look at her. I'll never talk to anything. Big guy, give me a break. Give me a break. Turn him loose. And now come with us to the seashore, where we see a lovely lady combing her lovely hair. You know, not too long ago, I couldn't get a sailor to whistle at me. But then one day, well, here's the whole story. Hello, everybody, hello. Halo Shampoo presents the inside story of the Lonesome Mermaid. What can I do about my hair? It's so dull and stringy looking. The sailors never whistle at me anymore. And for a mermaid, that's serious. Look, Toots, here's the answer to your problem. Use Halo Shampoo. Soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies it. Halo means natural beauty. The first time that you use it, you need no special rinsing after you use it. So Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo Shampoo, Halo. Halo, everybody, halo. Halo is the shampoo that glorifies your hair. So halo, shampoo, halo. Remember, halo leaves hair fragrant, dandruff-free, and wonderfully easy to manage. Because halo's not a soap or an oily cream. So halo, everybody, halo. Halo, shampoo, halo. So take it from one who really knows. Soaping Dull's hair, Halo glorifies it, leaves hair fragrant and wonderfully easy to manage. Why don't you try Halo? It's America's favorite shampoo, Halo. So Halo Shampoo Halo. What? Well, it's about time you I got. couldn't get mustard on it. So what'd you put on it? Nothing, just the sandwich is plain. Just plain? Bread. Just bread. Yeah, you wanted a mustard sandwich. They didn't have it. Oh, that's good. Sure. Yeah, but you know where I went for this? I went all the way to... Yeah, by the way, where's my change? Give me my change. <laughs> Come on. Give me. How much change? How much change was there? Six cents. Six? How far did you have to go? Canal Street. I went all the way. I walked this car. <laughs> went all the way? Okay, keep it. You sure you're all right now? You just keep that. This isn't going to aggravate you, huh? No, just to show you. Oh, six cents. I mean, what do you want me to do? Go to Tiffany's with this? <laughs> Maybe I should go have my shoes half sold. <laughs> no, I want you to keep it to remember me. Bye. Now, look. Okay. <laughs> We're having loads of fun. I wish you'd join us. Oh. <laughs> now, look, Jerry, you've always wanted to lead one of mine. You've always been the you always wanted to conduct one of my numbers? You're going to get your chance, Charlie. Aren't you overacting a little bit tonight? <laughs> Which number can I conduct? The one with the chore? I didn't hear you. I said, can I conduct the number with the chore? Chore? Yeah, you know, when all the fellas stand oh, up and they oh. sing, ah. Uh... You mean the choir? Huh? Yeah, the choir. Go ahead. OK, here we go. Now watch yourself. Now I'm not ready. Once in a while. I took you one little <laughs> someone else, maybe. Ah, 
getting it. All getting on the other side. You know. Why, okay. All getting on the other side. We got a lot of friends of ours here tonight from. Oh, it took them a long time to it get here. It was raining. Raining. And uh, they wanted to know if you would do that Italian song that you always sing. Italian? Yeah, you know. Uh, that... Oh, way, Marie. Yeah, would you do that one? Yeah, so you know mine. Hey, my shoe. Okay. <laughs> Conduct it. Wait, wait, ask me, ask me if you can conduct it. Ask me. We'll be all right with you if I can duck your band. <laughs> What song we were singing? <laughs> 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 Oh, 
just standing on the side and going like this. Three they, minutes. They don't want you people out there to know. You can't conceal these things for this audience. They pay money to buy Colgate, and I want put the camera on this man when he goes like this. Hurry up. Over there. Hurry. Do as I say this minute. Put the camera there when he goes like this. Hey, over there. Where did I tell you? I think I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> now, no, no, don't stop me when I'm saying something. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I mean, I know you all ad libbing and I. Yeah. Don, I don't even know what you might say. No, no. I'm a trying to figure out what, what's on your mind. <laughs> oh, Holly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jerry, we've got about uh, two minutes to fracture up here. And, uh, well, we... I would like to say something very seriously, if I may. Uh, uh, this is about the right time for me to do it, Dean. If you allow me, I'd appreciate it, Gunga. Gunga? Why, what's Gunga? I'm Dean. Well, I'd love to explain it if I may, sir. Uh, go right ahead. Go All right, ahead. I will. You see, some years ago, Roger Kipling... Oh, wrote... how is Roger? Oh, not too bad. Mother's not well, but he said he'd see it. Oh. <laughs> but Roger wrote a, a, a gorgeous story entitled Gunga Dean, you see. And I've been working with you for over four and a half years. I've been calling you Dean, and I thought I'd put Gunga in front of it to break up the monotony. <laughs> oh, I wish I was dead. Now... This opportunity in thanking the very wonderful Mayor Sterling of Steubenville for coming all the way to New York to appear on our show. And we'd like to thank, and we'd like to thank uh, Mayor Volani from all coming all the way from Newark to be here. Don't be sarcastic. Um, Newark is a pretty tough joint, kid. <laughs> Believe me, especially when you go by carrier pigeon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, let me explain something to you people out there. You see, when we put this show together, we were about eight minutes over. You know? See, so we cut out most of the singers and the comics. See? <laughs> see, because he's the singer and I'm the comic, and if we had others, well... Oh, stop a second. <laughs> oh, no, I want to... Well, you see, now you have to keep... Oh, look, Jerry, I think it's very nice for uh, Colgate to have us on every four weeks because... Nothing nice about it. They want us and they're paying and that's all there is to it. <laughs> but your teeth with Ajax? Ajax dental cream that cleans your teeth. What do you Oh, no, you don't brush your teeth with Ajax. No, you brush your teeth with Colgate. Dental cream. You know, it's such a wonderful thing to Wait be... Wait a minute, what, what, what are you saying? saying? What is it? How many? One, One minute. minute. Oh, we can kill that in an hour. <laughs> We're very thrilled to be on the air for Colgate, and we would like to, right about here, make mention, this is a wee bit of a plug, and we hope you don't Why mind do you our... keep going up? Keep coming back. No, um, if this we'll kid be moves, there. then I go right with no, him. <laughs> Come away and stay here, and stop moving away. How much time we got? Hey, Five. Dean, how are... Oh. <laughs> we have about 35 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, we want to say we're very grateful Try to everyone hard, for tuning in on our show. We'd like to thank Dick Stabile. <laughs> We'd like to thank Dick Stabile, our wonderful conductor, for the wonderful music, our producer, Ernie Glucksman, Kingman Moore in the booth. We'd like to thank everyone for making our show a happy one. We've had a lot of fun. We sincerely hope that you have. Good night. God bless you all. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Brush your teeth with Colgate, Colgate Dental Cream. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Palm olive, palm olive, palm olive.